Aloha, party people. You are listening to Inside the Desert Oasis Room, episode number 139. This episode is sponsored by Tandawai Rum, the world's largest rum producer and winner of over 170 international medals in the past four decades. Check out their webpage at TandawaiUSA.com or follow them on Facebook or Instagram at TandawaiUSA. Aloha! Come on down to Torrance, California on Saturday, July 20th to the Quiet Village Exotic Tiki Bazaar inside the Alpine Village Restaurant. Enjoy the live sounds of surf guitar bands Tiki Aki 5 and The Scimitars, plus DJ Big Tiki Dude spinning exotica tunes. Sip tiki cocktails and shop amongst our vendors for tiki arts, crafts, and vintage collectibles. Enjoy the restaurant and party tiki style from 12 to 6 p.m. with a $5 entry. 833 West Torrance Boulevard, just off the 110 freeway. Mahalo! On this episode, we podcast live from the Painkiller IPA Tiki Party at Frogtown Brewery. And joining us for this session is the legendary L.A. surf music band, The Volcanics, who talk to us about their origins, musical influences, guilty pleasures, and more. As always, I hope you enjoy this episode as much as we did bringing it to you. And if you did, hit that subscribe button. Subscribing makes it easier for you to follow our adventures. Shares on your social media pages are always appreciated. And if you'd like to help support the show, go to DesertOasisRoom.com to pick up some merch or make a donation. This podcast does not survive without the help of its sponsors or its listeners. So every purchase or donation, no matter the size, is totally appreciated and helps keep this podcast coming to you every week. Okay, let's get into this. Grab a beer and join us inside Frogtown Brewery. Give it up for our friends, the Volcanics. I'm Frankie. I'm Jared. And I'm Ben. And we're, we're the, the Volcanics. Volcanics. And you're listening to Inside the Desert Oasis Room Podcast. Testicles, <laughs> chesticles. I like chesticles better than testicles. I'll say that. <laughs> I've never had chesticles. <laughs> Poor Jared. <laughs> I'll go out and get you some. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Can have them with my tacos later. There you go. You, you know, if you look out this window right here, they're cooking the food right here, yeah. which is killing me. It's like I opened the window earlier when I was setting up because it was a little stuffy in here, and if I open it right now. We're probably just going to smell tacos oh, yeah. 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 for the whole session, yeah. right? Oh, Jared would be like the Wicked Witch of the West. He'd be mad because he's vegan. So. 
James. Oh, is are vegan. you really? No, so this well, is... no, I'm not vegan, but I I do eat vegan. Okay, but I don't claim to be a vegan. Okay, I, I've been vegetarian for a really long time. Okay, he doesn't but... rep for the vegan crew. No, oh. I, don't, I don't rep the vegan crew, but, but he I does do. share their ideals. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm down with the vegans. He's down, down with the vegans. I'm down with the vegans. Yeah, I mean it's all good. I mean there's people you know George from. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, George Voodoo George. He's a vegan. Yeah. So. And our a rhythm guitar player is weird too. He's like vegan too. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> we can talk about him because he's not just here. Just right? kidding. So, so, is, so that, is that politics? I found so, that. So, San, San Gabriel, where, where Frankie grew up, is, is a very small town, in case you, you can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> it's got that small town vibe. Small town vibe. Well, let's, let's tell our listeners who we're talking to, by the way. If you clicked on the title, you know we're talking to the Volcanics. We're here with three of the four Volcanics. Hi. And we are at the Painkiller IPA can release at Frogtown Brewery, our friends here at Frogtown Brewery. So we are enjoying a couple beers right now. What are you guys drinking? Uh, I have the Pilsner. Okay. Yep, I'm having the, uh, what am I, I having, a, Frankie? I think it's the Pilsner, too. Yeah, I'm having we're, the Pilsner. We're, we're having the Pilsner because we have to play. Yeah. And so the lower of, percentage yeah. is going to do us some favors right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second set is maybe when we it's go on. to the 7.1. We and saw. then you enjoy yourself after the painkiller right? is a 7.1. Yeah, yeah painkiller will definitely be for the second set. Yeah. So now you guys are, are you beer drinkers, all of you? Um, yes. Okay. I am absolutely a beer drinker. <laughs> okay. Without a doubt, 100%. He's a beer snob. Yeah. Oh, are you really? Yes. So absolutely. do you brew your own beer at home? I have brewed my beer, my own beer, but I don't normally. It's it's much too difficult for me. Okay. He yeah. does like to drink them, though. Yeah, I'm really, yeah, good, yeah. At drink. I'm yeah. really good at drinking. <laughs> Professional. Okay, okay cool. He, Jared's in distribution. Dude, how do you keep such a svelte figure when uh, you're when you're somebody that is is a beer drinker? Well, I've kind of like just learned how to fit right into my skinny fat. <laughs> so, I am actually fat, but you just can't tell because I'm tall. <laughs> He's so, really tall, yeah. From far away, I look really skinny. The closer you get, you're just not quite sure, but I wear the right clothes. It's okay. again about distribution. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm at a point right now, I've got two teenage kids, so I, I'm embracing the dad bod look. Mm. Oh, you know? yeah. yeah. It's in right They now. say that it's hot. They say yeah. that that's what the yeah. ladies like. Oh, yeah. I, I call bullshit yeah. on that, though, yeah. because... I don't think that that's what they really no, like. No, you look hot to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, Easy, Frankie. Flattery will get you nowhere. He, this is why he only gets <laughs> the Pilsners. <laughs> so I'm excited to have you guys on the show. I appreciate you being on. Thank you for I, having I, us. I was going to say that the last time I saw you was in Florida, but I yes. saw you on Sunday yeah. in Huntington Beach. Yeah. So rock and set as usual. We thank love the you. volcanics here thank inside you. the desert. The difference oasis was room. Florida. There was a downpour when you saw us. And, yeah, and it's crazy. And Huntington Beach. It was nice and sunny. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah, crazy weather in Florida. But you, man, you guys brought down the house. Oh, I'm sure you know you. that. I mean, people were just talking about you guys uh, out there in the Hukilau. Did you catch the Friday night set or the the daytime Saturday um, pool? The I was there for set. five days, so I, no, I didn't catch the pool set. So oh, that's pool, the one where it the was, pool set it was, was the raining. monsoon. Yeah. I don't yeah, know the, if you heard it. It started well, downpouring. Yeah, well, you we know, were, I I was out there for a lot of that because I was with my rum sponsor, Tandoi Rum, and we were the the first tent outside of where you guys were playing. Yeah, and so. I don't know if I was there when you guys were playing because it was a flurry of activity. Every time the rain came, it would come and go, right? And it would just flood the whole property, yeah. right? So I did a live video and stuff because it's all that rain is not something we're used to out here in Southern oh, California. No, no yeah. we were very confused. Yeah, because I'm out there like, I'm, <laughs> and it starts raining, and I'm thinking, this is bullshit, man. <laughs> what the hell yeah. is this? Yeah, like you're pissed off or something. Like <laughs> right? you yeah. it. It's like, hey, I flew out here to have a good time. You guys are going to fucking rain on me. Yeah, yeah. So. and nobody cared. Everyone was like dancing. That's what we felt. Like it was just pouring rain. Hey, you know what? And like, but nobody stopped dancing. They're like going crazy. So like we were on stage thinking like, well, it's not like we can be like, um, sorry, guys. I know, it's right? It's raining. Totally. We're like, well, we're under a tent at least. They're we, just we were afraid there. we were going to kill them with the yeah, lightning. Yeah, it's like the lightning's going but on. You know when it starts raining like that? Do you guys ever worry about getting electrocuted or anything? Yes. Well, I was concerned. Yeah, yeah. yeah we were very yeah, concerned. Yeah. <laughs> we were, I, really, I really wasn't scared about that. I was more worried about somebody getting struck by lightning. Yeah. Oh, really? A lot yeah. of lightning during the set. We were... Was it really? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I was wow. just... Yeah, we were just watching. Like, we had an Instagram uh, clip and you can see the you lightning can see, on the Yeah. Video. 
Um, so, there was people in the pool. I mean, they didn't care. It was, yeah, yeah. It was still warm. They're out. wet. They're wet already, yeah. and they're probably drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No one, no one gives Tiki drink in hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was good. Good times. We, we powered times. through. Yeah, very cool. I want to talk about the volcanics. I want to talk about the history of the band. I want to talk about the whole origin story and all of your musical backgrounds because. One of the things that I noticed is Ben's got a tattoo of a turntable on his arm. Oh. <laughs> what doesn't oh, he have a tattoo right? of? So, yeah. Look at his legs and his buttocks. So, so I want to talk about <laughs> I want to talk about each of your musical backgrounds. And I'm going to assume that the, you, you were a DJ? I was not. Okay. Um, but I am a big fan of hip hop. I was oh, cool. a, I was actually a manager in hip hop for a long time. Were I managed you really? a couple prominent prominent can I'm we, putting can, up quotations can we right name, now. Can we name drop? <laughs> I did. I was the manager of a hip hop group called the Far East Movement for a while. Okay. That had a random club hit called Like a G6. Um, I oh, yes. I know that. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I was. I spent I, many drunken nights on the dance yeah, floor yeah. at the okay. club. Awesome. Perfect. Well, I was the manager of Far East Movement for a long time. Um, and as part of that, I worked for. Um, uh, this management company and we managed Snoop Dogg, Busta Rhymes. We did YG's first album. Wow. Like, um, and like I grew up in a lot of different styles of music, which I can totally go down that boring tangent if you'd like. Um, but like hip hop was always a big part of a lot of things I listened to and I was yeah. always a big fan of it. Um, Where did you grow up? What brought you into hip hop? So I grew up, I'm the only, I'm the outsider of the Volcanics. Um, okay. They are all uh, from uh, San Gabriel and the uh, surrounding areas. I grew up in Northern California, so I grew okay. up in a town called Stockton. Stockton, um, yeah, yeah, which is not the uh, best of places, um, but uh, yeah, I grew up in Stockton in the '90s. So like West Coast hip hop and you know Death Row into the preceding years was like a huge, huge, huge part of kind of where I grew up. Um, I'd never get this from looking at you. Uh oh. But no, I'm just gonna say because. I grew up with hip hop, 80s and 90s, and I love 90s hip hop. You know, like right now, and people are going to, I'm, I'm going to get to a question where I'm going to talk about guilty pleasures, and we're going to ask, oh, I'm going to ask you guys what your guilty pleasures Spotify are. Spotify, buddy. And, <laughs> and we're going to get to that later, but, you know, that's one of my guilty pleasures is 90s hip hop. I'm like the white dude from Office Space that'd be in the car. That's, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, as a tiki guy, we're supposed to like exotica music and surf music and hapahali and all that kind of stuff. And I do like all that stuff. But growing up in Southern California in the 90s, man, that was it. And like right That's, now, I'm listen, I listen to K-Day like all day long. Oh, because they're killing it right they're now. They're killing it. It's so killing cool. It. It's, Best it's, music. Yeah, it's I awesome. mean. I, you'll love, okay, you'll love this one. So my first job when I, when I got into music management, my first like gig was I was the like assistant day-to-day manager for DJ Quick. Oh, wow. So I was like, it, it was like one of the first shows I worked was at the Key Club when that was still open yeah. and it was DJ Quick and Sugar Free. Wow. So uh, you for New Year's. So he's got street cred. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now so and now around. he manages and Frank Delatori <laughs> from the Volcanics. <laughs> yeah. Frankie, did you yeah. pack your did you pack your underwear? Yeah. So that's why we Frank, got, Frank we got you this. can't say that in front of kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Frank, don't drink anymore. You've had enough. Yeah, I have a long history oh my of God. it. Oh, uh, ben saved my life in yeah. at the Hookie Lao too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Frankie. Uh, yeah, many years. I spent many years in management and tour management. So that we were at a room, <laughs> we were at a room party uh, at the Hookie Lao, and everyone was having a great time. We we're taking bottle shots of Betty Page rum. It was like all happening, all great. And then somebody hands Frankie um, what looks like a cigarette, uh, but was oh. actually a pen. Okay, it was full of um, something stuff, marijuana, uh, and he's like, marijuana. Oh, oh, what's this? And I literally slapped his hand away. I was like, Do not do that. This is not going to go well for you or me. Who's going to have to like carry you That's back to hilarious. the hotel? Yeah. Um, yeah, and I get uh, hangovers off of two beers. And two I'm beers. On my so, second one, so like, yeah. Frankie doing body, bottle shots of Betty Page rum, and just then to give the listeners an chasing idea, it with weed. Was Fra- not. Frankie is is a guy who's had the same haircut <laughs> since the third grade. <laughs> That's a true story. That's a true story. I think he's actually had the kidding. same the same underwear yeah. also. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Holy. Wow. Okay. So we got Ben's background. Yeah. 
let's talk about. I, I want to say Frankie for last since Frankie's kind of the face of the volcanic. Should I say he that? He is the leader. No, oh, okay, so, you can say that. Yeah. No, okay, a, so let's talk to Jared. Leader. Let's yeah, talk to is. Jared's background. What about yes. you, Jared? Where did you come from? Let's talk uh, about well, that. Well, I grew up in San Gabriel, down the road from Frankie. Um, we st- we we didn't have girlfriends when we were in high school, so we had a lot of free time. <laughs> I didn't have a hands. girlfriend in high school either. <laughs> we. we I mean, we too. we made tapes of our farts. <laughs> <laughs> like that's how much time we had. We had so much time on our hands. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Volcanics. <laughs> so, so our first album was just fart noises. Uh, we weren't called the Volcanics. I don't think we had a band. Name. I was gonna ask where the name came from, but I think I'm, I'm yeah, figuring you're, that you're, out. You're right? seeing how that happens, right? So, right. No, Frank, Frankie and I, we we really started to like latch on to like surf music and and guitar yeah. guitar playing in general, um, you know, punk and and surf and stuff when we were in high school and and we started just learning songs and and we started a lot jamming of, together. A lot of cool stuff was happening back then. You had uh, the Finks and uh, um, Chris Barfield from the Finks was a good friend of ours. I knew him. Back in the '80s, when he, he was with the Fuzz Tones, he was my older brother's good friend, and uh, he was uh, playing with the Finks back then. And Jared and I started a surf band in '93 or so called the Impossibles, and so play backyard parties or a uh, 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 talent show, our high school talent show. So that's how right. kind of the surf thing kind of started. Okay. Right. Yeah. But where did the surf music? I mean, where did that choice come from? You could have played. You could have played rock. You could have played yeah, grunge. You um, could have played. We didn't have money, so we didn't have. We couldn't afford to find a, a buy a PA or the mics and the cables and the stands. So we just scrounged up enough money to get our uh, amps and guitars, and so we just learned instrumentals. Okay, and that was pretty much it. And, and we started and, writing instrumentals yeah. because it was just convenient. Yeah, it was convenient. Okay, <laughs> and, right. and nobody could sing. I mean, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were too afraid. Of <laughs> well, I think that Frankie's singing on some stuff. Yeah, right uh, kind of. Yeah, yeah we try. do. We do vocals. Yeah. When we fir- we first started out in two thousand one, and I the band formed with uh, Benny Hammond and Derek Nakamura. We were a three piece, and uh, Benny's the one that pushed the vocals, and I loved them so much. Like like kept wanting to do them. So yeah, you know. Yeah. And most the, most of the surf bands, ninety percent of the surf bands saying anyway you know that a lot of people don't know that but so i was gonna say it's not like that today no it's a different culture it's a different thing so it's it's taken on its own form own life so so how are the volcanics today different from the volcanics back then Hmm. what what year what year was the first um album yeah First, we started in 2001. The first album was in 06, I want to so say. So the, vol- the Volcanics name was, was like, came to fruition in 2001? 2001, 2001 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. You I could think- say we're better looking. <laughs> <laughs> we may not sound better. Yeah. Yeah. You know, these two guys. <laughs> Are since- good looking? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like the first thing I think of when I see you guys is I just look at, I see eternal youth. 2001 was 18 years ago, man. (laughs) That's crazy to me. Yeah. Yeah. I was Uh, in high school. Yeah. (laughs) No, we've been working on some new material and I think the songwriting process just comes so quick, so easy. It's really fun writing new music with these guys. So tell me about that. Who writes the music? Um, Mostly, Mostly Frankie. Frankie will start... Um, he'll come in with riffs and and just shreds, and we'll Ben and I will just pick it apart, pick it yeah. apart, destroy yeah. it, make him feel really for the bad better, about for it. the yeah. better. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, and then we'll come out with an album. Hey, yeah. yeah. Hey. No, um, we we actually haven't recorded and and written a lot together in this lineup. The Volcanics lineup over the years has changed a yeah. bit. Pretty much Especially with the rhythm section. Okay. So for bass and drums, Ben and I, now, we're really excited to get in and write and record a new record because we haven't done a full-length record together in the, with this lineup. We've done, uh, we're working on a holiday recording right now. So some Shh, Halloween secret songs knowledge. and secret, some secret, Christmas secret, songs. Secret, secret. <laughs> and we've done some singles 
but we've never really done a full length. So we're actually really excited. We don't really know how this new like lineup is actually going to going to work. Yeah. But it's working great to me. I mean, the like, stuff we've done has been pretty, pretty fun. I'm going to yeah. tell you, man. I mean, you guys sound very, very professional, very seasoned. I mean, you guys are really up there with. I see a lot of live bands. I see a lot of live music. I've been around, you know, I'm an old guy. I'm older than I look. And you guys are very impressive to me, you know? Thank you. And Thanks. your yeah. show is actually very entertaining because. I'm not a huge surf music guy. I mean, I enjoy surf music. It's it's hard to keep people entertained yes. at a surf show. Yes. You know, I mean, it's usually it gets, it like... It gets a little monotonous. It does. It's yeah. like four middle-aged guys up there yeah. that are just, yeah. you know, playing. Yeah. How many times can you hear Miserloo? Yeah. How many times totally. can you hear right? Right. How many times can you hear Apache? Yeah. And, yeah. Then, yeah. and then you guys go up there and you just turn it upside down, man. Um, well, that's one of the things, you know... I don't think I've ever played Miserloo or Wipeout or Pipeline, you know, any of the the big hits, you know, because you know all the other bands are going to play yeah, it. So yeah. we keep it mostly original and the ones, the covers that we do, there that, we, that we do do. Vocal songs do really are covers. Okay. And, yeah. and our vocal songs yeah. tend to be. And they're off the wall. Yeah, yeah. off the, they're always like random garage tracks that were probably on some 45 somewhere and okay. God knows where it is now. Yeah. Do you guys have a favorite that you like to play? Do you, is it Jared likes to play with himself. <laughs> Frankie likes I don't to think play I've heard that one. Yeah. Frankie <laughs> likes to play with his G string. <laughs> so to go back, they both had no girlfriends in high school. For those just tuning in, you'll never believe it. <laughs> Speaking of tuning, what, what's that tuned in? The key of G string? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you'll hear that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we have about three jokes. So. <laughs> <laughs> we may have shot our wad on that one. <laughs> hey, you guys were at the Hukilau, and that was pretty amazing. I, like I said, seeing you guys there, you guys played in the rain. You played in a thunderstorm. Scary. Yep. Yeah, we did it. What are the kind of venues or shows come to mind when you think about something that's unusual like that? Is there any kind of memory that pops up? Any kind of maybe a favorite place that you played at? I would say, I mean, to me, um, Volcanics is an interesting band because Volcanics, I guess, is, if you're asking around, is like considered, we're considered a surf band, right? But I think we as a band really thrive the most in like, I don't want to say punk show settings, but like we do the best at like, you know, some of our coolest things and biggest moments for us have been like, at the airliner for like, you know, like a, a Von Badsville show that's like with Rockabilly and Psychobilly bands and then us or like Alex's bar was like, or not Alex's bar, but Spikes was like a, a huge home and hub for yeah. for yeah. Volcanics. And, and that's how I got to know them as well is because I think those are, you know, we, we get booked on a lot of surf gigs, which are awesome, right? Which when you're a surf band, you end up playing, you play beach bars and like, you're the background music at like, yeah. you know, bars or nightclubs or restaurants and stuff like that. But really, when you're going to see the purest, uncut version of the Volcanics is like a sweaty, dirty punk show. I in love a club. it. Like, that's what we are. It's yeah. funny that you say that, Ben, because my first thought is there's this genre that we call surf rock or surf. I don't know, surf pop, is that yeah. a thing? Surf and music. I think and I think surf. I always <laughs> think of you guys more as like surf punk. Yeah. 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 Because I mean, it's 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 a harder, it's a more raw, like a, a higher energy. Like I said, it ain't like four middle aged right, guys right, are playing right. Miserloo. We're well, a party band. So, some yeah, of my yeah. favorite <laughs> bands that I try that that I loved were the Crossfires or the Fender Four, and those guys were just heavy hitters back in the 1960s, and that's what I would hope that we are trying to capture. So th- those guys just ripped. And what about fast? What about the look? I mean, who's coordinating that? Uh, we kind of we have we only have a couple of different outfits. Yeah. So I think part of like the 
part of who we are in here, like, and you've kind of touched on this a couple of times about like, what's it like to go to a volcanic show? Like part of that is, you know, we are known as the guys in the sweaters and the ties. Um, we show up to look good. Like we, we, we yeah, look you guys good. Look awesome. we are, yeah, this is yeah. what we, you know, today we're wearing the plaid shirts. We're still matching. If we're not matching, we get lost. Um, but you know, we, we lose more. that's part of, yeah, we would lose, <laughs> we lose them anyway. It makes it easy to find your friends. Like it's like the buddy system. Um, but that to me is like part of the but, show. But the look, I, you know, the, the look is like sleeper. You know, <laughs> it's like it's like the guys in that thing <laughs> you funny. do, the wonders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've heard that before. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's one of my. Movies. That's one of my in my top five movies Dude, of all time. And I'm gonna get to that because okay, I got we'll I got a qu- I got a question here that, that that that's gonna relate to that. But <laughs> but the difference between you guys and the wonders is you ain't doing. You yeah, it's not as poppy. That. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 you're not doing. Don't that get me of... wrong. I love the pop and I love melody. I really love melody, but I, I, uh, you know, I, I want the the burners. So yeah, yeah. and Ben screaming, and then yeah, you're, yeah. and then Frankie's doing a yeah. freaking guitar yeah. rip. Plus, that's we just, can't sing in harmony. We can't yeah. sing in harmony <laughs> to yeah. save our lives, yeah. right? And that's kind of interesting too, because I think that plays into the kind of covers that we gravitate to, right? Because that sort of era of music, to me, right, you had a right. lot of bands like the wonders fictitious band but bands that were going like okay this beatles thing is happening there's this pop rock sound that's and you had a lot of bands chasing that Mm -hmm. but eventually not everybody can do it so as a result of that become more rocking and that's it's to me that's that same like raw ramones like ramones wanted to be the beach boys problem was they're the Ramones they're and the they Ramones, end up yeah. making this thing that's fucking awesome. Yeah. For every like band that's trying to be the Beatles, to me, there's these bands like Teammates or like even the Sonics or something that like the Sonics to me are a pop band that are just louder than everybody else. Yeah. Sure. Um, and that's kind of, if you were to say a thing that like Volcanics sort of like look towards as like a North Star, it's that like we're a, we're a, we're a sixties surf pop rock garage party band. Get yeah. drunk too. Let's rip and I get sweaty it. and dance around. And, and what's great about the Volcanics is you guys are really are very unique compared to. I I, I hate to keep going back to the four middle aged guys playing Miserlou, <laughs> but but you know you guys really stand out. You know, and you stand out not just among surf bands. You stand out against all other bands as well. Thank I mean, you, hey, you know. You guys really have a personality and a style that's very distinguishable, which I love. Thank you, thank you. I love it, yeah. Yeah, so I was messaging with Frankie the other day. And we know you guys. Sexting. Sexting, yeah. Sexting Frankie, yeah. I wasn't sending him pictures of my cock. I was sending him pictures of another guy. (laughs) So, (laughs) (laughs) So I like to do some fun questions, stuff that people learn about you guys outside of being the volcanics because people know you guys as the volcanics right i would i would think that people know frankie just as the volcanics he is frankie volcanic frankie yeah. volcanic yeah. right so he is, he is that guy I, I, I go down a list of fun questions that kind of think outside of the box as far as getting to know it, the, the guys that are sitting here in front of me as the volcanics so i'm gonna go and ask you if a few fun questions. Sure. I gave Frankie a little teaser of these. Did you share any of these with, with the guys? Huh? I saw a tiny bit, but okay. I don't know All right. what's so, happening. And Jared I'll has for Frankie. Jared has Whitey no tighties. Idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Depp <laughs> hair gel. <laughs> Depp, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I always start with the superpower question. If you could have any superpower, what would you choose? Now I'm gonna throw out my examples to help you guys think about this. So the one that I always say for myself is I want to be able to eat whatever I want without getting fat or without getting any, <laughs> gaining any weight. Another one that I like that I've heard from other people is a reset button. Mm. Whether it's like, you know, you see that easy button for the Staples commercials, yeah, but yeah. a reset button, right? So like whether you can go back five minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is. It's like a time button. turner from Harry Potter. Right, right. Is that nerdy? And, and then another one that someone Nerd. said that I never actually thought about was this is a person who travels a lot. And she said to me, I'd love to be able to speak any language oh. so that wherever I go, I can make friends wherever I go. And I thought, oh, that's a great that's one. I'm going to throw that one out there. Um and then one more that I always say is the, the transporting one because I have a friend who's got a girlfriend that lives far away so they're in a long distance relationship and he hates traveling so he wants to be able to just transport right 
to see her. So, so let's start with who's got an answer. Who should I start with, Jared? I I don't know if I have okay. an answer. I feel um, like Jared already has the eat anything power. Right? Yeah, I have a pretty strong. Yeah, power. no. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say that would have been my answer. Eat anything without feeling it, because the older you get. Yeah, it's for you, if I could choose a superpower for like one of my bandmates, I would choose Frankie to be able to eat anything and it not and to take affect his tummy. Oh, <laughs> so, so, yeah. maybe, so maybe. this sounds like a problem. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. would. Oh, yeah, you yeah, could yeah. benefit. Yeah, yeah. I would wish for a Frankie to not ever have gas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was trying to allude to that in a subtle <laughs> way. Uh, yeah, I guess you guys. We answered. keep going back to that. Or or, or, uh, or no uh, um, no hangovers. I, I, no hangovers I, I'm is a, wimp. a good one. I'm a wimp. I, got yeah, one. I get hangovers all the time. All right. I got one. So I want to be able to communicate um, with my dog, talk to oh, my yeah. dog, but I don't, and I, let me, let me also talk step back pets. and say, I've never I don't want to talk one. and like I, Dr. yeah, Doolittle. I don't want to, uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to talk to all animals cause I don't even need that in my life. But like my dog, if I could just communicate with my dog and it's more of a practicality thing because you're like, why are you barking? And he's like, oh, I'm mad about this. And you're like <laughs> walking, you know, the amount of time that I spend walking this dog around the neighborhood being like, can you please just take a shit so we can go back in the house? <laughs> I could be like, yo, take a shit. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I got, I need another lap. I, I need gotta one get, more circle. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. At least I got, you know, I can text back. Yo, I'm going to be five minutes late. The dog I've needs, never you know? had the communicate with my pet. That's, yeah, yeah. That's Again, a, and I don't want to do little. That's a great answer. I, I saw how it went for Eddie Murphy. I don't <laughs> <laughs> that. I just want to talk love that. to the dog. I love that. Okay, yeah. so we've got we've got communicate with your pets. We've got <laughs> less flatulence. Yeah, less flatulence. Yeah, sure. and, sure. and we've got um, yeah. no hangovers. Yeah, no hangovers. Right. Are those our official answers for that, Jared? You got one? Well, I mean, I've I've always thought that if you're going to be a superhero, why not be the mother of all superheroes and just be the superhero that can be any superhero he wants? Do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Fly, Jared's be invisible. Wishing I mean, why have limitations if you're going to be a superhero? <laughs> okay, I'd buy that. Be I, mean, able to I do wouldn't anything. even call you a superhero if you if you had limitations. <laughs> right. You right. Just, you're just. Uh, you don't think talking to describe- a chihuahua is a superpower? <laughs> you're just describing Mark, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to do a couple more? Sure. All sure. right. So, if you could spend time with any person, dead or alive, Ooh. real or fictitious, who would you choose? Now I'll give you my answers to those. I think it'd be fun to spend a day with Ferris Bueller. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good one. I think it'd be cool to have dinner with Bruce Lee. Oh. And I also think I'd like to spend time with my great grandfather and just learn about my family. That's interesting. I have no answers. So I have a real person, I have a fictitious person, and I have a oh, family geez. member. Do you have one, so. one of each? No, have, you don't have to give one of each. I'd you probably just have one. dinner with uh, Warren Buffett. Oh, nice. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what we'd eat. <laughs> he <laughs> does own a uh, partial steak in Heinz, so you may just be eating hot dogs with mustard and ketchup on them. Yeah, but I, I don't eat hot dogs. My, so I know. Just My three <laughs> idols. <laughs> just a bun. <laughs> John Wooden, Jimmy Stewart, Mr. Rogers, but I would have to say I want to hang out with Bobby Hill. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't have any answers. To this. I, I love I how like we all it. laughed at that one. <laughs> that was just a random poll. You're like, Bobby all right, up. all right. If you don't have an answer, let's go to the next one. I've got a few more. All right. And this is going to go back to that thing you do because Uh-oh. this is going to be my answer for you guys. If a movie were to be made about your life, we can talk about as the band, The Volcanics, oh. or we could talk about as each of you individually. <laughs> okay. If a movie were to be made about your life, who do you think should play you? And of course, the first thing that comes to mind for me is that thing you do. It's, I don't even remember the guys that played the band ma- members there. It was it was actually Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually the the lead singer. So that that's what I see. I see a movie. I Clark, see a movie like that. Cl- Clark the Volcanic. Griswold. Yeah, we've yeah, we have. <laughs> so we. I, I'll say if we have t- discussed this a couple of times that like the Volcanics, as much as we'd like to be the Wonders, like really, if you were no, to make nope something about us, it's really more of like a Scooby Doo kind of scenario. Um, it's mostly just hijinks I'm and Scooby. us getting lost. Yeah. And, 
Exactly. <laughs> and we've already established Frankie is Scooby, I'm Shaggy, Jared's Vilma, and Mark's Daphne. We'll tell you why, Jared. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I always thought we were more like the young ones. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um. Yeah, Jared, you're definitely Neil from the young one. Yeah, I could be Neil. <laughs> now, when I say that thing you do, there was that guy, he was a solo artist in that movie. During the state fair scene. Oh yeah, he's like the, the lounge singer guy. He reminds me of Mark. Oh. Doesn't he look like him? Oh, Doesn't he kind of look? Am I right about that? They have that? the hair. He has yeah, they got the hair. hair. Yeah, got and they the kind hair. of got the, he wears the slacks. And he the, wears the slack. Yeah, Mark has the slacks. Um, yeah, what is his name? He's He sings Mr. Downtown. Yeah, that guy. Mr. That Downtown. Mr. Downtown. Hey, that dude. Right? Yeah, you have a voice. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you ever have a mic? Never hey, look at, look at this. this. And then he does What's the fist. Ba, 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 yes. ba, 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 ba. I, we can quote this movie right now if you're ready. <laughs> That's Presidential right. flashcards. Oh a God. bonus. <laughs> the world's out on you, Oneeders. Is this? Oh, yeah, Oneeders. That's the Oneeders. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love that. Where was I? Oh, playing songs on my guitar. Never mind. So oh, I freaking good. love that. That's a great movie. I love that so movie. So good. So good. I yeah. led you here for so I am Spartacus. I am Spartacus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. I love that. That's hilarious. I'm, I'm going to go the drummer of the Volcanics. It may work. But then hey, Frankie's going to go so solo. So see, it's the same story. Right? Right? Right, oh, and they oh, bring they bring the lead singer's girlfriend. Did you guys start yelling Jesus? at Ben? And you're like, "Hey, it's too fast! It's too fast!" That, that is a thing that you're gonna get with Cena, you jerk. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Now, <laughs> see, you guys are the Oneaters. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> nice boys, nice suits. <laughs> Any guilty pleasures? Everything I like is I can't. I okay. shouldn't even comment because I have no shame. In so my existence. We, we are in a scene you where... Talk that about, means you're not guilty. You want to talk about Carly Rae Jepsen? Let's talk oh about Carly Rae Jepsen. Oh, my God. Look, I was going to bring up Paul and Oates, but Carly Rae Jepsen, no, that's, that's another level. Hey, the Emotion album is a banger. That's another okay. level. Are we just... Is guilty pleasure all you have to do with music? No. It could be anything. Do you uh, like getting your foot massage? <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. Only if Jared does I need does it right it. now. Yeah. I have big hands. <laughs> So guilty pleasures. <laughs> Throw them on the table. Uh, Chivas Regal, twelve year. Okay. <laughs> That's Jared. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't know. Come on, Frankie. I I don't I can't even answer this. Peanut like, butter and pickle sandwiches. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound good. No, that sounds horrible. Um. Yeah. Okay. Except for Mariah Carey, I love Christmas music. You don't oh, like Mariah right. Carey? I, no. That's but what you he's like saying. Christmas except for yes, Mariah yeah, Carey. Yeah. Then the, is that a guilty pleasure? I mean, like Christmas is music's it? fine. Well, I hear all kinds of stuff about it. Do you I mean, stream Christmas music no, year-round? No, no. I just listen to it when okay. I'm in the car. Frankie's a little it's... Clark Griswold. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. kind of his vibe. He do you do the Christmas it... lights uh, every year? Oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh, totally. Yeah. 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 The and day he, after Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, te- he texted me about it. Like... <laughs> And I like just joined the band, and he's like, "Check out my Christmas lights." I was like, "I don't talk like that, you jerk." <laughs> when, you, when I see your text, that's how I read them. Check out my Christmas lights, and I'm like, "Dude, I've been on the road with rappers. What is like? What in the okay. hell is this?" So, yeah. like, ben was like, "What did I just oh, join? What did I just do? I've been on the road with what did some I get, bands. What did I get like, myself into? I've been on some shit, and now this guy's sending me his Christmas lights." Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Last question. Another one? <laughs> <laughs> What's on your bucket list? For the Damn. for the band or let's talk in about life? One, one by one. I, I I've got a few on my bucket list. I'm gonna say I'd like to ride a junk in China. I'd like okay. to I'd like to run I don't I'm not gonna say a mile, but I'd like to run the Great Wall. I'm not a runner. Oh, I mean cool. look at me, man. I mean like round in the middle. But, you know, I mean, there are things I'd like to see, you know, that are a little bit unreachable for me. That is a tough one. Yeah. I think for me, uh, I just want to travel with my friends more often. I've done it a little bit with these guys. We've gone to Italy. We've gone to the East Coast. We've gone to Mexico. And it's all been just really fun. I'd love to go to Japan. I think that's the bucket Japan. list. Yeah, I was kind of thinking That's a that bucket too. list thing for me too. Yeah, Japan. we'd love to go to Japan and play because we know that that we'd have fun and they would love it. Some of it. the best surf bands are yeah. from Japan, my favorite, so yeah. Yeah. And I'd also like to write a book. Oh, really? About what? I don't know, maybe farts. 
<laughs> <laughs> no, I think I just I have a passion for writing. Okay. Yeah, and and I've done it here and there, just you know, for my own you know personal benefit. I don't know, but I've never shared it. So I'd love to actually write something that I share. Are you writing publish. right now? When uh, you say here and there, how long ago was the last time you wrote? Uh, you know, it's it's usually when I when I get inspired by something. I'll write either music or I'll write, just, I'll start writing. Okay. Um, I did a lot of traveling in 2012 and I wrote a lot and I kind of just gained a, a, a passion for writing while I was traveling. And so I'd like to figure out how to hone in on that and sort of bring it, bring it home and be able to channel into that and write on a regular basis. That's awesome. So romantic, Jaren. I know, I'm going to write love stories about the volcanics. Yeah. <laughs> love and stories this one or time? horror stories. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, do we have any other, any other answers, uh, any other examples? I, was, I mean, I was thinking, I don't know, um, I guess travel, yeah. Travel? I, 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 it was kind of the same thing. What's in your top three? <sighs> Alhambra. <laughs> Yeah, Monterey Park, <laughs> Commerce, Commerce, Tijuana. <laughs> oh, Tijuana. don't get me started on Tijuana. Frankie can't go to Tijuana anymore. He has. Shut up. Never mind. He has been arrested there. <laughs> was that you at the donkey show? Did that, was I that was the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I went down there with a bunch of buddies once, with the intent of finding the donkey show. And we got into a cab, and the guy asked us where we want to go, and we said, we want to go to the donkey show. And he said, no, 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 donkey died, donkey died. And we're like, come on, man, like this is a legend, right? Like we've been hearing about this donkey show our whole lives. I think it's bullshit. I don't think there ever was a donkey show. I think it's something that people have just talked about. It could it's be. It's an urban legend. It's yeah. a Bigfoot. Yeah, it could be. So I don't know. That's my thought about it. I wasn't arrested Although for the I, donkey show. For the record, yeah. it's not on my bucket list. That's not, that's not a bucket list <laughs> yeah, item. Okay. <laughs> it's on Frankie. Uh, yeah. All right, so travel, San Gabriel, you said. Uh, Pomona, I, Riverside. Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> I think Frankie's, I'll answer for you. You want to own a house. Frankie wants oh, to own yes, a house. Oh, yes, yeah. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Wow. That, that's a good one. And, yeah, and you yeah. want a studio too, right? And you want yes, a studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jared yeah. wants Frankie to have a studio. It's on Jared's bucket list for Frankie to have a studio. <laughs> there you go. Right. Yeah. There you go. That works. That's so selfless of you, Jared, to I give know. him his yeah, studio. Yeah, he shares his wishes. It's so good. So I, have, I need a place for all my gear that I can't stop buying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand that as a musician, right? Yeah. It's, like it's, it's, a, it's a disease. It is. Well, I want to say thank you very much for you guys. Sitting down with the podcast inside the Desert Oasis Room. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We've, we've got a show here that I'm looking forward to seeing. Oh, shoot. We have to play still? I think. Yeah. <laughs> you said all these nice things I about think, us, and then we're going to go play and probably fuck up all our own songs. And then you'll be like, oh, delete. Uh-oh. I think you're going to surprise a lot of the people in there. I think they're going to be like, holy shit, these guys Turn are Turn it loud. down. Yeah, we right. need to play quiet. It's a kind of a, a big concrete Scary. No, I think you should bit. just... You should just let go loose. For it. Yeah, just let loose. It's gonna yeah. definitely be loose because someone just walked in and handed us new beers. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing here. <laughs> Our friends at Frogtown Brew are hooking us up, man. I mean, Frogtown, they've got some awesome beers here. And tonight, what we are celebrating is the Painkiller IPA being released in cans, so people can actually take right. it home. So yeah. we're gonna take I've some been home. Seeing Seven point one percent with cans of them. Yeah, there you go. We and got two sets to play, so two God sets. be with us. Yeah. Mark's no, going to come no in and he's going to be like, what the hell is wrong with you guys? How much you been drinking? <laughs> no, <Yeah>. just, <laughs> right? <laughs> Mr. Downtown's going to be... Mr. Downtown's going to show. He's going to be so mad You guys at should us. start calling him Mr. Downtown and not tell him why. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> the deal. I'm going to introduce him tonight as Mr. 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 Downtown. downtown. I love it. And That's what guitar, we're going to call him. guitar, Mr. Downtown. <laughs> I'm going to say hello to him and I'm going to say, what's happening, Mr. Downtown? I'm going to shake his hand. I'm, I'm going to see how he reacts to that. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Freddie Fredrickson, that's what his name is, I think, in the thing. That's the remember. artist. Not, I'm going gonna, to gonna go on IMDb and I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we'll find out. So before we wrap up, is there anything that you guys want to promote? What's the future of the Volcanics? Um, we, we got some shows. Yeah, we have shows. Yeah, we got some shows. We're playing at the Barkley on August 1st with the Cetopians and the Send Destroyers. us your money. What? Send us all your money. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are kind of like a house band over there, aren't you? The yeah. Bar- the bar- yeah. Band? Kind of. Yeah. 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 It's Frankie's house. Okay. Yeah. Are we not supposed to say that? No, that's all right. Yeah. Frankie um, is 
Co-owner. Co-owner of the Barclay. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yes. I never knew yeah. that. Oh. Let's go do a b- podcast over there. Let's do that. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I'll totally do yeah. that. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Come yeah. on by. Yeah. George has been there. George, um, so. If I had known this, I would have done that sooner. All right. Uh, let's, let's do let's it. Let's hook it up. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, All right. So let's talk there. about it. It's a pre, pre-SG101 convention show. Um, and then... Uh, Are you guys else? playing SG101? No. No? no. no? Okay. But we'll be there. I'll be there uh, checking out the bands. Uh, and then what else do we well, have? Well, we're working on a holiday record. Shh. We are working on a record. <laughs> so uh, be on the lookout. Yeah. Because lookout. I hear rumors. Yeah. 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 And then the last album came out about a month ago. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, let's, and that's available. Let's talk about the new album. What's the name of the new album? Forgotten Cove. Uh, it's on uh, uh, co release, uh, Double Crown Records, High Tide Recordings, and. Yeah, it just came out, what, April, I believe. So, Very cool. Yeah. Okay. So, so if, if anybody wants to follow your schedule, let's throw out the website and all the social media and all that kind of stuff. All right. Yeah. Website is www.thevolcanexit.com. You can follow us on Instagram, at The Volcanics. Um, and then just search The Volcanics on Facebook and it'll all come up. Not The Volcanoes. Not The Volcanoes. <laughs> and there is another Volcanics from They're older. Australia. Yeah. Um, they're the We're fake ones. One. Fake. Yeah, just I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think we we're a little earlier than them. Yeah. But. Wow. So you'll be looking for the band in the sweaters with the ties. That's yeah, the one you go. you'll be following. The ones who look like the Oneters. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There yes. you go. There you go. And That's for the Oneters. Oh, the Oneters. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and for our listeners out there who have any questions, comments, or just want to leave a shout out for the Volcanics. Stop by our group page on Facebook inside the Desert Oasis Room. You can follow us on Instagram at Polynesian Pop. Follow our friends at The Volcanics at Instagram also. If it's working, today was oh, today was I, weird. I saw yeah. that, yeah. Today was like, I'm trying to promote the I'm show trying to today. promote the show, yeah. and it's just like, come on, man. It was come the painkiller release. Yeah. Yeah, they took down Instagram. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> They're, all the They're all here. All right, guys, looking forward to this set. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This was a lot of fun. Come by the Barkley. Let's do this there. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, party people. We got a show. Okay. We'll catch up with you. Cheers. 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 Cheers.